Hey, and a great big God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and yes, this is the day the Lord has made, and it is a beautiful day. For those of you that have been following me on the live streams, I have been constantly having technical difficulties, so indefinitely I will go back to doing still videos, upload them. However, I will be doing lives again um, soon as my uh, schedule changes for the summer hours and the uh, daylight saving time change. Um, I still will do random acts of kindness from the charity. Um, every so often, you will keep seeing me come up to do some random acts of kindness uh, from the charity. So stay tuned. But the issue is, friends, when I'm out and about and I pull up to do the, the lives, you just don't know about the uh, connection. And so it's a whole lot of revelation in that to me. I can teach on the connection. Woo! There's so much you can say about that. But I don't want to go there today. I want to go back to the last live that I did earlier today asking the question, where are the real prophets of God? Let us first be very, very clear. According to Ephesians chapter 4, if anyone questions this bona fide office and administration of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us be very clear from Genesis to the last uh, revealing of Jesus, the book of Revelation of Christ through John who was exiled on the Isle of Patmos, friends, let it be clear. God has always had a person that he could find to speak his heart and his mind. And let me also be very clear. If you are not a prophet, if you are not called as a prophetess of God, and I'm not talking about the common a uh, prophet or prophetess that prophesies. We, you know, we see them all over social media. They have a word for the week, a word for the day, a word for the month, a word for the year. No, we're not talking about those types of prophets and prophetess. We're not talking about that type of, if you will, cherry. This pictorial is that of the Rainer cherry. This cherry is considered a premium cherry. It is almost double the price than a regular black cherry that we mostly eat. However, it, it you know, it, I'll be the first to raise my hand, friends. I never heard of Rainer cherries until I was maybe in my 40s. I had never seen them. I never heard of them until I visited this ministry and the woman had some of those cherries. And I was like, these don't look like they're ready. You know, in my mind, I was like, this is not a, a real cherry. What What is it? <laughs> Only to find out that it was a premium a, a very different type of cherry. Follow me very close, my friends. We're asking the question, where are the real prophets? The Rainer cherry is, is grown or it was originally harvested in the state of Washington and now can be harvested and is harvested in Oregon, and California, but it was originally harvested in the orchards in the Yakima Valley in Washington State, two to three hour drive from Washington State University down in the valley. Yakima or Yakima Valley has 18 thousand acres of orchards and vineyards and some of the most popular uh, or, or I can't say the most popular cherry in the whole wide world comes 
from the Yakima Valley in Washington State. They're rare. This is why when you, those of you that see them in your grocery stores, you usually don't have a lot in one bag. They're usually just a small amount versus big bags of the common black cherry. Well, follow me, my friends. It is because when they harvest these, or when they plant rather these cherries, they mix them in between regular cherries. And when the honeybees pollinate, this is a different type of pollen that they gather. This is what brings about this golden uh, reddish cherry instead of the dark, um, um, very um, reddish cherry. They are sweeter than the burgundy deep red cherries and they cost more. Now follow me friends. Real prophets are at the foot of Jesus, the feet of Jesus. This is where they stay. Real prophets stay at the cross because it is there that Jesus is able to harvest the voice of righteousness. It's in the harvest in the valley. The valley of Yakima is fertile. It is very fertile where many orchards of all types, most notably friends, for those that, that are harvesters of wine and consumers, some of the best wine orchards are in the Yakima Valley along with these cherries. These cherries are so, we can say they're expensive. The price of the real profit is the same, expensive. Your life is, it is so minimal when it comes to the things of this world and your desires, beloved. As a prophet or prophetess in the office, you are unlike the black cherry that's so common of with personal prophetic utterances. You can find that in the body of Christ where it should be because it edifies, it brings comfort, and it exhorts the believer. But the, the rainer prophets, if you will, that, that are, are rare, they're mixed in the midst of other prophets and prophetess who may prophesy. But the reign of prophet is raining down righteousness. That's what's constantly coming out of them is repent, be holy, be clean, live up to your confession of Jesus. The rainer unlike the other common cherry, is attacked constantly by birds. The birds are a problem for the harvester because the harvester has to protect this cherry, the rainer, so that because it's sweeter. And, and hear me friends, in order for the harvester to protect that cherry and bring as much as it can to harvest, they have to invest in certain things that they do while this fruit is growing so the birds don't devour these rain or cherries. It is said that up to one third of the harvest can be stolen, ate up by the birds. Follow me, follow me. We have an epidemic of young prophets and prophetess who are bona fide. They are called by the Lord, according to Ephesians chapter four, 
Before Christ ascended, he descended. He gave gifts unto men for the perfecting of the saints. There are people who God has his hand to bring the, the body of Christ into the perfection. And what is it? Christ Jesus. So hear me very closely, my friend. If you're not careful, the enemy will bring you back into the three points, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These are those birds that's knocking off many young prophets and prophetess right on social media, where many are being devoured. They have not made it to, to uh, maturation where they are edible and ripe in Christ. You will know you are ripe in Christ because your, your proclamation, your exhortations, your teachings, your, your preaching, your witness is all about Jesus. And what's happening when you listen to these prophets that are in the red zone they are not in the the they are not in the zone of the rainer these are common folk who hear me closely my friend they have not grown into maturation at the cross because when you're at the cross the harvest is there the harvest is with the proclamation of Christ crucified. Any other primary proclamation, explanation, exegesis, or doctrine other than the cross and repentance and, and, and encouraging the brethren and those who have influence to stay with Jesus, to stay clean, to stay pure, to stay holy, to, to break yourself loose, to free yourself from any weights or chains that, that are binding you into unrighteousness righteous living. Friends, that's the harvest. That's how you know you are in full bloom in Christ harvest. The rainer harvesters have to protect that harvest. And this is why you may be experiencing certain limitations in your life and ministry because God knows if he doesn't confine the rain or prophets. Follow me. I'm using this as an illustration to explain to you, brother and sister, if you're really called, if you really have the hand of God on your life, you are not called to be a regular cherry. You are called to be a rainer. And by the way, the rainer cherries that you're looking at, these golden, beautiful, sweet cherries are named after Mount Rainer, which is a mountain in the Cascades near Wash in Washington State, near Oregon and part uh, one part of California. This mountain stands over 14,000 feet. Well, can you imagine? 14,000 feet tall. And the, the Yakima Valley, not being far away from it, nonetheless, it, these cherries were named after that mountain. Hear me, brothers and sisters. The, the real prophets are so limited where you feel constrained many days, many months and seasons because your life, it is often you, you're in a valley. You're in between mountains and hills. Follow me. The Yakima Valley is in between mountains and hills. The prophet or the prophetess that is being tutored by Holy Spirit, you stay low in low land. You don't seek the mountain or a hillside. You are you you are one that stays low because how do you know? How do you know you stay low? You usually get in trouble with your mouth. 
You're always, before you can think twice, you done said something blunt, straightforward. People get mad. People getting upset. Why you got to say it like that? You stay low because when you, brother and sister, that are called in this beautiful expression of God's love to tell men and women, boys and girls, to repent of their sin. You got to hear me. You got to choose to stay low, to keep examining yourself so the birds don't attack you before God can bring you to where he desires you to stand and sit in the body. It takes time. It takes years. It takes time testing over and over again to make sure, one, you don't get ate up by the birds. Because let me tell you, my friend, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are birds. And unless you are mature in the spirit, you will trade God's anointing for the applause of men. You will trade God's anointing for monetization, you will trade God's anointing for, uh, uh, what do you call these things? You'll trade it for ordination. You'll trade God's anointing to be accepted <coughs> in the circles. And I'm, and <coughs> hear me, my friend, excuse me. You'll look up and you would have compromised this great gospel. And hear me, when <clears throat> a harvester, when someone is watching over their harvest, they often will prune that harvest. They will go and start cutting away that fruit that could harm other fruit. They'll cut it. And they rather have quality versus quantity. This is why you must understand, friends, real prophets are with Jesus, staying at that cross, constantly reflecting, constantly deflecting doctrines, traditions, and ways of the common folk that can spoil the harvest in and upon your life. This great harvest belongs to Jesus. And he is, listen, he is not going to share his glory when he dispatch you. It is all about repentance. We must repent, brothers and sisters. Don't let anyone trick and fool you. Real prophets and prophetess exist and they are at the feet of Jesus. They are in that valley. They are in the low places. They are not seeking to be famous. They are not seeking to be your friend. They are not seeking to make a living off of the gospel. They know, they understand that they are to remain low. So I close with this, brothers and sisters. If you are following someone who overtly advertise, they overtly constantly parade themselves as the prophet, that's not a harvest prophet. That's not a rainer. That's not a rainer. <laughs> that is not a Rainer prophet. The difference between Rainer and the regular black cherry is righteousness, repentance, correction and direction for the edification of the real ecclesia. That's how you know. That's how you spot the Rainers. The rest come a dime a dozen. They are expensive because they're rare. So I say this as I close for the second time. If you have been called into this great administration, go low, stay low, examine your life. Are you self-promoting your office? Are you self-promoting the gifts 
of the spirit? Are you self-promoting, bragging about money, bragging about what you have, showing people your luxury brands? Are you boasting of things you ought not to? Are you begging and pleading for people to recognize you as the prophet of God, as the prophetess of God? If so, go low. Go low.